the I, I don't see private blockchains ever succeeding. On quite people always say to me they say rupert i'm worried about something and i want to ask you about this they're worried that private blockchains replace public blockchains what are your thoughts on that <laughs> um my my eth maxi might come out now but yeah. but i think um Get him out. i think we've i think we've seen with closed private networks that growth just doesn't happen and adoption and growth doesn't sort of take place the internet's a, the internet's a great example right so if the internet you know back in the 90s well, even earlier, was a closed protocol, it wouldn't be what we have today. It wouldn't operate the way, it wouldn't have grown the way, it wouldn't have scaled the way we have all sort of experienced and grown up in. And I think you'll see that because one, you want to be where the capital is, you want to be where the distribution is, and you want to be where the innovators and builders are. And today, the innovators and builders are all on public blockchain because of the access, because of the building tools, because of, um, I, yeah, I mean, I think just because like that's where everyone's deployed. The, I don't see private blockchains ever succeeding.